That's right, I'm back with another new project. I know, I'm nuts, but I love doing these things. So, before I get started with my intro, I'm going to ask you to please do all of the things, and you know what they are. So this project is called Pan is the Word. It is based on the movie Grease. This is a project that was created by Becky. I think her last name is pronounced Trevette, but I could be wrong on that, so... Becky, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Um, she did this in collab with the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. I'm going to have Becky's channel and the Fantastic Ladies link down below in my description box. As always, you know how this goes. Now, what you need to know about this is this starts June 16th of 2023. And the reason she picked June 16th is because that was the release date of the movie in 1978. Now, this will only run through December 16th of 2023, so it's a six-month project. She gave us 20 prompts, and she said, do what you want. Pick as many as you want to start, roll them all in, set your own goals, just have fun with it. Now, you know I can get behind that because that is exactly how I do things. Okay, so the um, social media hashtag is hashtag pan is the word. That is in the description or the title box, and you should be able to um, click on that to follow it to anybody else who's used the hashtag for this. So I decided to start with six. We'll just see how this works out. I was trying to kind of divide it up and figure out how I could get them all in there, and I didn't want to roll them all at once. And it was a whole big thing. You know how I am. So the first one I am going to be doing for this is the first prompt, which is grease. And so she decided she wanted this to be a hair product. So I have had this. This is a suave coconut oil, hair oil, floating around. I like it. I've been using it. It's taken me forever. And down here, I put a mark on it. My goal is actually to finish this bottle off. This isn't as good as my Moroccan oil, but I've had it around forever. It's kind of an old standby. So... Um, I don't think they make it, and I figured I wanted to get this one used up. I weighed it. It's starting at 52.2 grams, so we'll just kind of track however we can for this. Then the second prompt is Pink Lady. So this is a pink item or in a pink package, something like that. I have this Mary Kay micellar water floating around. I marked where I'm starting. This was originally a five-ounce bottle got my line on it. I'd like to finish this off. I don't use a ton of micellar water. These are a little bit harder for me to go through, but this was something mom gave me, and I thought, well, it's pink. So there we go. This start is starting out at 111.1 grams, so we will mark and weigh this as we go along. Then I'm jumping to number nine, beauty school dropout, an item you won't repurchase. For that, I'm bringing in the Ordinary Buffet. This is the last bottle of it I have. I'm down to here on it. My goal is to finish it. Weighed in at 74.8 grams to begin with. We'll track, you know. Um, they changed this. I don't know that you can even get this anymore, but since I was kind of trying to change up my skincare routine starting back when I was in Arizona, I'm trying to finish out those last few of those things that I have here in Minnesota too to just get them out of my collection. So... That worked out well for me. Then we go to number 10, which is Drive-In, a product with a movie theme or name. This one was an easy one for me. My empties and low buy that did not load included the Physician's Formula Collection. And this is the collection based on The Breakfast Club. And it's Saturday Detention. This is volume one. And I still have the plastic on this, so hopefully you're not gonna get too much reflection. But it comes with what they say are two highlighters. That's awful dark for a highlighter for someone as pale as me. Two blushes and two bronzers. So we'll see how this works. What I decided to do with this, and I love the pictures too. I mean, if we're talking about, you know, movies from my era, guess why I got that. But I decided I was going to bring this in for 12 uses. So whatever pan I use is a use. Hopefully I can hit them all, but we'll see. Like I said, that one highlighter is a little dark, but I figured at least that's a good start. Um, I can at least try everything once, so that's why that's going in there. Then number 12 is Pajama Party. This is an item you would use in the evening or overnight, and I just recently, like a week or two before you're seeing this, got this. This is from Bath & Body Works. It was a freebie. I, you know how you get the coupons where you get like a sample or something free? This counted. 
This is part of the aromatherapy line. It is their sleep. It's an essential oil mist. And since it's a sleep, I figured that worked for the night part. This is in lavender chamomile, and I'm using this as a pillow spray. I've used it twice, so the line on it is right above where the labeling is, but I can see through the labeling pretty well, so we should be able to mark that way. We're starting at 46.8 grams. All right, then number 15 is Hand Jive. So this is a product for your hands. I happen to have this Ahava. This is a Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This is a 1.3 ounce bottle or jar, whatever, tube. I guess would be the word, um, starting at 48 grams. And so we will just uh, use this until it's completed also. All right, so that's what I'm bringing in. Now you know that I'm gonna have a music moment. For this, I decided that while Becky did do most of the songs from the movie as prompts, I'm not gonna do all of them for the six months as those songs from the movie. I'm gonna very a little bit but for the first one I am actually doing a song that is not on her list and it is the song called there are worse things I could do which is sung by um, Stalker Channing who plays Rizzo in the movie and um, I don't know why I am so drawn to this song I just really like the I love the sound of it I love the melody for it and it's like almost like a almost like a diary entry it's kind of a confessional type of thing this is just actually a song i really like uh hopefully i'll be able to find something to link down in the description box for you to watch but the interesting thing about this movie okay so i told you the movie actually came out in 78 so when this movie was being cast in 1977 stocker channing was actually 33 and she's playing a high school senior. None of these guys were teenagers at this point when they were doing this, but um, this is one of two songs she sings. This is the only solo song she sings. She has no other musical recordings, anything like that, so this is really the highlight for her vocals from her entire career, and she's acted for years before and after all of that. But getting the... Um, character of Betty Rizzo actually did earn, the, did earn her a People's Choice Award for Favorite Motion Picture Supporting Actress. I thought, well, that's kind of cool. Now, this is a movie that I have loved, loved, loved since forever ago. A bajillion years ago, back in the day, long before we had cable, when we had like a whopping five channels for the TV, one of the things that my dad did was he actually purchased one of the really early renditions of a VHS player. So we had videotapes and he was friends with people throughout the country. So there were people that did have different satellites and cable things. They were getting different movie channels. When this actually went on, when Grease went on the movie channels, somebody, and I don't know which one of his friends, if mom remembers, throw in the comments because I don't remember. But um, somebody actually had recorded this and sent us the tape. We used to get all kinds of weird stuff sent to us way back in the day, long before we ever had any kind of cable or anything like that. I swear I must have watched this movie almost a hundred times. I can probably still recite along with the movie the entire dialogue and all of the lyrics. Yeah, I'm sure my dad was thrilled. <clears throat> Mom is a huge Olivia Newton-John fan, so I don't think it drove her quite as crazy. But once again, if she sees this... She can let you all know her recollection of this. When this came out in 78, it came out a month and two days, whatever, before my, that would have been my ninth birthday, I think. So we probably got this when I was 10 or 11, I'm guessing. And like I said, I'm surprised I did not wear the tape out. I watched this so much. This is absolutely one of my favorites. There was no way I was going to miss this project. So Becky, thank you for, um, giving me a little piece of my childhood. I, I realize that this is probably an older movie than a lot of you guys out there, but some of my friends and family are old enough to remember this. So hopefully you'll stick along for the rest of the journey, and I will try and get you some interesting music moments and trivia where I can. But thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And until next time, see ya. Bye.